Hello Dark Eaters, I'm Gary, the Vacuum Chip Wedge. And this time I'm gonna talk about cable lacing. This video is inspired by the Digital Mermaid. A lovely girl that I, um, that I like, uh, she is uh, quite technical and she works on uh, the boat and, uh, and battery power stuff. Quite a... Quite an inquisitive mind. I I like her channel a lot. And recently, the Digital Mermaid uh, made a video about uh, old style cable lacing, something like you see here. And uh, she also um, read the NASA standard for for the cable connections and uh, and bundling uh, technique the, and the workmanship. So uh, let's get to the bench because I've got some thoughts and um, and experiences to to share with you all on that matter. So we've got this piece of cable bundle that was found in an old power supply. I got some uh, purple Ariadna Titan uh, 10 thread. This is polyester, but it's not waxed. Now I'm considering buying the waxed thread. So uh, since this is non-waxed, uh, it will uh, slip uh, a little bit. Uh, make um, make the lacing less stable. Let's zoom on in. Take a closer look at this piece of, um, of cable harness. The way uh, the way it is laced, uh, let's, uh, let's grab some uh, tweezers. Just one moment, please. Where did I get them? Ha! If you take a closer look at, uh, at how the thread goes uh, around the, the cable, it goes from above under the thread, and then it uh, goes above the previous thread, it goes through, and it goes over this, this loop, making, a, making the, the stitch uh, quite uh, unstable if you bend it uh, towards uh, where the threads close. Not the nicest way to do it. The, the drawing uh, for, I made uh, a bunch of drawings, the drawing that, uh, that is found uh, on, uh, on this cable bundle, it's this. And contrary to the NASA stitch that uh, I, uh, I, just, uh, I just learned uh, the NASA stitch uh, in practice, and um, the NASA stitch, uh, it goes uh, under the cable bundle, under the, um, the previous thread, and under the, under the loop. So uh, there are two points where the, where the thread is pinched uh, against the cable bundle which increases stability. This, uh, this was made uh, using the NASA technique. Of course, uh, the cables themselves uh, also uh, affect the stability of, of the stitch. Uh, and I will 
talk about it uh, pretty soon because I uh, I also have uh, some uh, observations and uh, and thoughts about it. And uh, this is the way I used to ban lace the cable with uh, with one point. Uh, this is um, this is pretty much the easy way, and uh, there is also a completely shitty way. And, uh, the completely shitty way would mean that uh, we go uh, over the cable bundle and go from uh, under the from under the thread. And this, while it crosses over the cable bundle, it will unfurl in no time. This is total crap and uh, you shouldn't be lacing the, the cables this way. This is better because uh, two threads uh, will have uh, one point where where the, the thread is uh, pinched against the cables. So uh, this is uh, the old uh, carry tech way, the, the, easy, the easy way of uh, lacing, lacing cables. And uh, it, it is pretty, pretty hard uh, to maintain. Also, that's uh, that's why uh, when I uh, when I started the the lacing, I usually placed uh, a bunch of uh, of those uh, knots uh, next to each other. Say, uh, make uh, make it four. And uh, the friction between the adjacent uh, loops uh, will prevent uh, the starting and uh, ending stitch uh, from unfurling. Then uh, going further, the easy stitch, uh, but it's pretty easy to to unfurl if you move it. And now let's do it the NASA way. Let's go under the cable bundle. Then we go under the thread. Mm, is my dexterity failing me? No. And then we go under the thread, under the loop, right here. We have something like this. And we can pull it back and it's pretty stable and trying to move this knot, trying to move the stitch, it doesn't uh, unfurl it right away. So this is the way better way to lace the cables, learning from the best. And now let's uh, do it uh, the way I, uh, I discovered here and see what happens. So, gotta route the thread uh, back and under. Then uh, I've gotta route the thread uh, under the
under the loop here. And this is uh, this is how uh, this stitch is made. And see, it's not stable. It's pretty easy, but uh, I can move it uh, even if I pull on it uh, very hard. Unless I uh, keep um, the tension on the running thread, I can move it back very easily. It will unfurl. No, not very stable. So, the NASA way is the way that Caritech Electronics will from now on do the cable bundles. It's a thing of beauty and a joy forever. And I'd like my amplifiers to be a thing of beauty and a joy forever. So that was this little tech tip from Carrie. And if I... Uh, have uh, enough wires going through the amplifier, then I will make a uh, cable bundle NASA style with my, uh, <laughs> shall we say, trademark uh, purple polyester thread. I absolutely love the old way of uh, of lacing the cables and uh, and doing electronics. And I will give more of this to the world. Well, see you next time.